name. I just know him as C Sharp Fritz, but um, Jeff Jeff Fritz. Jeff Jeff Fritz. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Um, but he, yeah, yeah, he was part of the thing that got brought up was like we were talking. He's talking about the ecosystem is is pretty vast, even though people don't realize it, and there's a lot of fud. And one of the things people were talking about was like tooling, and so like I remember like Visual Studio or Visual Studio.net, they both used to be super expensive. But at one point there was a community edition, I know. And like, there's also mm-hmm. Visual Studio code. Um, but like, I, I guess my question is like, if I were to start, like, I'm just like, I want to go build a Xamarin app right now. Like, is is there a cost to tooling if I were to build it? Like, I know Riders JetBrains, so that you would pay for, obviously. Uh, JetBrains is, uh, you know, they 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 make money. Um, nah, but nah, nah. but yep. like, say you say you weren't using Rider, could I get? Could I actually have? And I don't mean this as throwing shade; it's just a genuine question. Could I have a good tooling setup to build something in .NET Maui right now without? dropping a dime and i don't mean that because i'm cheap like i'm happy i'm happy to pay i'm happy to pay for tools but this is like a common question that i saw in that whole thread when people were saying yeah but the tooling you know and stuff and just curious right. your thoughts on that yeah so um there's there's a couple layers to this so we'll start we'll start zoom in zoomed way in then we'll kind of okay. um bring it back out a little bit so uh short answer absolutely yes um okay. if you download visual studio uh, as you install it, you'll see a prompt comes up and it's like, hey, what are you working on? And this is where you can select the additional .NET workloads. So .NET's also been uh, broken apart. So like the core .NET, like if you're just building a Hello World console app, um, is you don't have to install as much. So uh, if you want to install additional workloads like Maui or Blazor, you'll get this little prompt that says little check boxes. So you'll say, check the doc- .NET Maui box. And yeah. then... And then yeah, Visual Studio, it's called the Community Edition. It's totally free. Um, the only kind of guardrails Microsoft puts in place, and if I'm being honest, it's mostly on the honor system, but you should yeah. honor the honor system is once you have a company that's, I forget the exact parameters. I think it's either five employees or annual revenue of a million dollars, then okay. you're required to pay for the business license. But okay. Again, for me, you and me, like I make zero dollars off my mobile apps in the app store. So yeah, I can use a community edition, no problem. Um yeah. but so that's that's on Windows. Now, if we yeah. shift over the Mac, because I'm on a Mac, I've been using Mac to write my C sharp apps for gosh, almost a decade now. Um yeah. there was Visual Studio for Mac, which fun fact came from us at Xamarin. We had our own ID oh, no called way. Xamarin Studio. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which is built on Mono Develop, so more through lines back to the Mono days. Um, okay. And when Microsoft acquired Xamarin, they're like, "Oh, cool! You can write C sharp code in an IDE on the Mac. Why don't we just rename that from Xamarin Studio to Visual Studio for Mac?" And okay. all of us were like, "No, don't do that because <laughs> it's literally only made for Xamarin. Like, yes, Xamarin's in C sharp." But like, if you try to make an ASP.NET Core app using Xamarin Studio, you're going to have a bad time. But did the marketing team listen? Of course. Yeah. RAP, right? Violated sign. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so no, they didn't listen to us and they rebranded it as Visual Studio for Mac. And then again, everybody who never heard of Xamarin Studio all of a sudden was like, oh, shoot, Microsoft's got an IDE for the Mac. Sweet. I'm going to try it out. And then everybody hated it because you couldn't do... It wasn't one to one with Visual Studio on the PC, so yeah. you couldn't do like your Azure stuff at first. You couldn't do uh, ASP.NET Core stuff at first, and so slowly over time, they added more and more functionality to it. But the Visual Studio on the PC was always like the crown jewel, um, whereas yeah. Visual Studio for Mac was kind of the redheaded stepchild. It was like, are we ever going to get that feature from Visual Studio that you just announced and celebrated to the world, Microsoft? Like maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, like Violated Sign just mentioned in the comments, RIP Visual Studio for Mac. Um, Microsoft announced that they're they're getting rid of it. They're deprecating it later this year. Okay. And what really sucks is they don't have another tool for us to use. So they're they're working okay. on Visual Studio code support, which yeah, you can totally make your Xamarin app or your .NET Maui apps uh, in Visual Studio code. 
there's a little yeah. uh visual i think it's called the c-sharp dev kit and there's a dotnet maui c-sharp dev kit um okay. visual studio code extension can add but if i'm being honest the the experience isn't there yet it's not what we would expect as c-sharp developers just to be come in like i know like here's my build button here's my debug button here's how my breakpoints work you know VS Code puts stuff in different places. A lot of stuff gets hidden. And again, the one-to-one -one functionality is not there. So that's why I use JetBrains on the Mac now because um, RAP Visual Studio for Mac. But um, JetBrains does require a license. But yeah, it is awesome. I mean, I'm I'm paying for this. I pay for JetBrains out of my pocket. I think 150 bucks a year. That's what I use to make the .NET MAUI course. So okay. for me, it's totally worth it because it's so good. Like. It's way better than Visual Studio for Mac ever was, but I wish they also had a free community edition so I could save a little bit of money. But yeah, yeah. Also, if you're on a Mac, you can do what I do. And let's see if this works in the screen share, but I have uh, parallels installed. So, okay. Yeah. I was going to say you might as well just go VM and boop. Yeah. So, like, here's Windows 11 running on my Mac. And I, you can even see, like, yeah, there's. Here's my C-sharp code and here's Visual Studio installed. And okay. it, this works great too. So yeah, if you want to go more freemium route, yeah, spin up a virtual machine on your Mac, install Windows, then you can get Visual Studio and everything just everything just works. So yeah. lots of lots of free routes, but certainly easier if you're on Windows because yeah, um, that's where it's, all that's that stuff's just there started. for you. Yeah. <laughs>